Would you consider yourself a natural redhead? Natural redhead? A natural redhead? No. You would? No? Are you a natural redhead? No. You're not. Is your hair naturally red? No, it's, it's dyed. Is it dyed? Well, it's a great job. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm sorry to scare you. Rusty Weiss. Oh. Denied. Was having a bad hair day. Wait, wait, wait. Are you a natural redhead? Canvassing Portland, Oregon for redhead. Is it a natural redhead? It is not. <laughs> natural redhead. Mm. And not having much luck. Would you consider yourself a natural redhead? He grew increasingly desperate. Do you really think Reddish. my hair is red? From the, yeah, from afar, in the lights, it definitely looked red. I'm gathering the largest number of natural redheads in one place on Saturday. It's actually Rusty's tomorrow. lofty goal was to amass some 1,300 redheads. Tomorrow, tomorrow. To set a new Guinness World Record for a mass redhead. <laughs> Sounds like fun. All right, great, right, thanks. And partly to symbolize that redheads are not on the edge of extinction, as recent reports have suggested. Is extinction a, a myth? Yes. That's not even possible. As a once flaming, now fading redhead myself, I was concerned. I got my red hair from Grandma Nell. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. To Rusty, the event was also a chance for the redheaded minority, about 2% of the world's population, to foster solidarity, community, and pride. <laughs> oh. I burn in the shade on a cloudy day. A sunscreen company was a strong supporter of this event for pale skins. What's your SPF number? At least 200. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> now you hear people joke around that we're like spawn of the devil or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just laugh. Yeah. Turns out we redheads have issues. Who knew? Being a redhead itself, being called a redhead could be pretty pejorative. The name calling starts with carrot top, and goes to Ranga, short for orangutan. And things go downhill from there. Sometimes it, it, ha it is a bully situation where it's just like not fun. <laughs> it was always tough as a little girl because there wasn't a Charlie's Angel that was a redhead. Redheaded Alexia Anastasio was there to interview other redheads for a documentary on redheads. When we get older, then we realize, oh, I actually am OK. I'm, I, it's, it's cool for me to be different and unique, and I embrace that now. We also share a rich heritage. Norse god Thor was a redhead, Shakespeare, Thomas Jefferson, Van Gogh, Bozo, and two Napoleons, Bonaparte and Dynamite. Rusty's extravaganza attracted all manner of redheads. I don't know, I feel pretty unique. Most said they were happy about having red hair. I think I just embraced it and was fabulous, so. <laughs> I think we're going to break this record. I really believe we've got it. Eventually, it was time to count redheads for the Guinness record. Rusty asked that I stand with them and be counted. <laughs> the ocean of orange swelled. Cameras clicked. But alas, even with 1,207 redheads, we fell short of beating the world record of 1,255. But records aren't everything. In the end, it was nice just to be amongst my own kind.